Hello everyone, welcome to Gris. I'm not fully certain how the pronunciation of this game goes. Um, this is a game that I've had for a while. I think it at least got nominated for a couple of awards the year it came out. Um, I know it's a very, like, artistically beautiful game, like, with the visuals. Um, other than that, I don't know a whole ton about it, so let's get into this, I suppose. There's a big old hand, and a me. I can definitely agree with the visuals being beautiful. Whoa. Am I singing this what's going on here then? Unless the painted style is done really well. less cursed um, versions of... Oh, I lost my voice. I guess I'm getting less cursed versions of Spongebob close-ups. <laughs> my hand... My hand platform is blowing up. gameplay in a second. Creative director Conrad Rosette. Producer and programmer Roger Mendoza. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing these names. <laughs> Technical director Adrian Cuve Cuvis. Boss. Again, hopefully not mispronouncing them, but almost definitely. Music by Berlinist. As we slowly zoom away from our character here. Developed by... Published by Canadian by Devolver. Music also is phenomenal. Created by Nomada Studio. Ooh, fancy. Title screen? Not quite yet. My hair is all blue. Okay, I do get to control the character here. These rocks. And steps. I do not have the ability to jump, it would appear. I'm all blue and sad. It's also interesting how they're making the appendages like not a solid color at all. You've got like the brush strokes didn't fully fill in sort of thing. He's a bird. Or not exactly birds, but it is things that are flying. Jellyfish, possibly. Oh. Why are we falling over? Are we tired? We're looking to the heavens. Oh, there we go. Now we got some movement. Rocks. As the music starts to swell. Ooh. Is that a tree? Some sort of some form of plant life? I do not know. Up. We go as more of these flying things appear. What the? 
Okay then. Interesting. Hermit crabs using sheeps? <laughs> Something like that? Again, I don't know basically anything about this game, so bear with me. We. I'm going to assume that this is not a game that has a bunch of collectibles. Oh, this is a collect. Okay, I was gonna say, is this a collectible here? No, it is a interactable though. I now have an orb. Is that an attack? Nope, it's just an orb. A star, possibly, given its movement. Which is actually kind of cool how it's in a different frame rate that it's animated. Um, something tells me that I should be going this way. Not necessarily for story progression, but for something. Or maybe even for story progression. Hello there. Oh. Oh, I can't get over there right now. Right now being the operative term. Okay, I do go up. I was curious if that was the case. Now we've got a secondary thing. Nope. Cutscene. Oh, I need three things and then I can get across. I see my third thing up there, but how, pray tell, do I get up there? The answer? I'm assuming whatever that thing was that I saw before is going to be a power-up or something. No, I actually can go all the way. Hello there. Whoop, don't fall off. That'd be a bad idea. I do still want to go back that way, though. I see one blip of a thing. Oh! Ooh, interesting. I now have this, and I do retrieve my other ones after I'm done. Okay, can I go this way now? Because I think this is... yes. Is that just a checkpoint then, or...? I'm not certain. We shall see, though. Also, just doing a quick test here. You can... Okay, you can... Jump through platforms. Okay, and now we can make it across the chasm. Interesting. going. I do not know, but we're going regardless. Hey look, it's the hand. Or at least a hand. I don't know if it's one I was on. Or just one in general. Given okay, again, there's multiple. Are we gonna Okay, we're floating. Are we gonna ascend with the hand? Is that the idea here? Oh. What? Oh, wait, no, that's something to realize. We've only been in black and white, basically, until now. I mean, my, my hair had been blue, but... Interesting. Interesting. Red. The color has been brought back. Okay, so we're... We're restoring color to the world as we progress through. Interesting. I don't like how quiet it is. It's giving me... it's unsettling. Hmm? Oh! Okay, so that... Tells me that I missed a thing over there, more than likely.
Okay, my boys here have ascended. Are they going to return to me in a moment or no? Oh, I need... Is that... Oh. That's a lot that I need. How many is that? One, two, three. Or maybe it's that I'm returning the constellations. Something along those lines. Interesting. Given I don't know if I'm going to gain abilities, like movement abilities or not, I would assume so, because I can't get up there. But I can go this way. Oh. What do we got down here? Okay. So, interesting. I'm assuming this is obviously my central hub area. Then it's a question. Oh, we're descending. Whee! Whee! Is it going to require me to jump at some point? Decent chance. Oh, sun's rising. To fall damage. Let's go. No, oh, that is a rock that I cannot ascend up. Good to know. It's a little unsettling though the fact that the sun is always perfectly behind me. Into this structure we go. The sun's just like, yo, in case you forgot, I'm here. Okay. Cutscenes. What's gonna happen? Grace. It's the title screen that we were waiting for. Very nice. a lot further of a jump than I thought it would be. But again, no fall damage. We're glad for that. Gonna check on the left side here, see if there's a thingy. There is. Let's go. Is that the third one I could find? Is that what that's supposed to indicate there? Maybe. Regardless. Got a pyramid in the back. Whether it's supposed to be a mountain or a pyramid, I don't know. But regardless, it's a pyramid. It could technically be a triangle even, though. <laughs> Up we go. Hey, those are wind things that I can't remember the name of right now. The things that tell you the direction of the wind. Unless they're just straight up windmills, which it looks like they may be. Oh, the wind has arrived. Okay then. The wind is not happy with me. The wind does not like me. So I'm assuming the mechanic for this particular region is get to your location before the wind blows you back to the other one. Hello rock peoples. Yep, wind's starting up. Go, 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 go. 
The rock peeps are fine, it looks like. I would not have been fine, as we saw before. Run. Run, my little character. Run. I don't know if Gris is supposed to be the character's name, or if it's the name of the world, or however that may or may not work. Okay, there's my star, though. Assuming... yeah, I can't go down there. But I can slide down here. Whee! Wind starting up again. Also, it's interesting to realize this one isn't moving, which was your main tell before that. You need to be in the area. Oh, I need a second one to get up. So hopefully there's a second one down here. Hello, rock peoples. How are you? Yep, there's a second one. So we let the wind exist for a bit here, and then also I just noticed, you probably can't see it terribly well, my controller is red. I noticed that it changed colors when um, initially I launched the game to its, like, base color that you have. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. Now my stars permit me to pass. I'm assuming I probably actually want... Nope, I need to be up here. Okay, then. That's unsettling. That's... Great. That's wonderful, even. That's totally not absolutely terrifying. Okay, is that a third star, I think? Um, thank you, giant moving building. I appreciate the lift. There's not currently any real indication of where I'm going, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay. I'm assuming I have to stand on the crumbling platform there is my best guess. Also, I guess I should specify on my controller. It is more of a... No? No? I can't break that. I also can't, like, jump up to it. Uh, but the color is more of a pink, I suppose. Wonder. I mean, I'll have to be coming back to these locations if I want to get them anyways, because I'm certain I've missed other ones. If nothing else I know, I've already missed one in the first area. Then again, I almost wonder if I can't get back to the first area. We'll see. Well, I have two stars. Is this going to be another moving building? Maybe. We're waiting for the wind to subside. We're activating a beacon of some nature. Uh huh? Hold. Okay. Interesting. So I do get some form of abilities as I progress. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh. 
I have become block. Which I'm assuming also if the wind picks up here I can use it and then stop movement. I can even ever so slightly move forwards. Very nice. Okay. So if I see one of these again, I know what uh, to look out for in regards to the fact that it's an ability shrine station, whatever the case may or may not be. You can't get to me, Phantom. Your opera will not persist. In fact, it is persisting, but you get the idea. Oh, hello there. We have some very sad stone women here. Is it me? Am I the sad stone woman? I'm assuming I can't walk over here. Never mind, I can. This is probably one of the collectibles, for lack of a better term. Hello there, bud. Can you get me over there? Thank you. I'm assuming this is the way to the collectible, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's vice versa. Down is the collectible and over here is the way forward. I guess I'll just have to take that risk. For whom does the bell toll? Me. I'm going way down. Which tells me I should have probably just kept going the other way. This does break. We're going into the center of the planet by the looks of it. And my star friend is struggling to catch up. Oh. I'm gonna get all the butterflies. Oh, the butterflies are not happy with me. Or they are happy with me? I don't know. I am now on top of the building. It would seem. Um, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, I believe that's probably a wall. But we'll see. Ooh. Hmm. Passa. No, no, not down. For whom does the bell toll? Disney, the bell teller. Thank you, Mr. Windmill. I appreciate the lift. Ah, thank you. I was wondering if the jump was possible. The answer, probably not. Again, thank you. Is this going to be another giant moving platform? <laughs> We're going to see even bigger legs spread out of this thing. Sacrifice will not be in vain. Unless because you didn't actually sacrifice anything. No, well, he activated something here. Oh, uh, okay. I was gonna say I'm like, I don't have like a whole ton of things. It's because 
because I'm supposed to only go the one way or the other way. Take that, you very precariously pieced equipment. Probably. I don't know if it's actually equipment. Mm. Whatever it is, I'm breaking it. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. I see the star. It's all the way up there. But I don't think I can immediately jump to it. Oh. It looks like I'm going to need to counterbalance. Well, hello there. I'm gonna grab this and then try doing that on the other side to try and get on top of the windmill. can stand on top of it. My bad. My be, my be. I think it goes faster if I'm not standing on it. No! Ted came in. Come on, Jacob, you got it. Better. There we go. Voila. Hey, I made the the bell tingling. Bell went. I was fully expecting me to just fall there, so that was a bit odd to see. Anyways. No more precarious standing for you. Ting a ling a ling. Also, the wind has not started up since I got here, so I'm assuming I'm done with the wind. Oh. Oh, we got butterflies, or I realize they're probably more than likely bats. Oh, it's just gonna give me a platform here. Okay, that works. I appreciate that. Um, can I go over this way? I feel like I'm kind of able to, but also not really. Yeah, I'll risk the jump. Uh -huh. It was worth it. Excuse me, swell a little bit. Mm. No more precariousness for you. Not allowed. Hey look, it's another one of these. I can't currently activate. Oh. Because there's a point where I can stand where I do both of them. I'm just not observant enough, apparently. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this way, because I see the stars there. Hey, 
that through. I want through. I'm gonna need something to help me get over there. Hey, speaking of something to help me get over there, can you come back this way, maybe? Just an idea. Uh, first, let me see what you have up here. Oh, I murdered it. Never mind, I did not murder it, I just... Does it now... Does it come over here to help me? It has gone there and has let me pass. Thank you, friendo. It is muy appreciado. Let me through it, please. And then one more. No, no. Is there another star I collect over this way, or is it just. I was gonna say, I'm like, I think I can come down here, right? I have freed this thing. If that was a good thing or a bad thing. Arguably a good thing, but we'll see to what extent. To a certain extent it might have been a bad thing. Nah, I think we're fine. I can't go down. Uh, I do this. And then I can go like this, and then I can get the star. Slide down. Whee! Nice. I'm also going to see if I can go up even higher here. I think I'm required to, but regardless, we're not quite. I'm assuming I'm going to go from inside to get up there. Hello, my rotating friends. Permit me passage, please, as I completely fall to my doom. A grand old time indeed. Nope, nope, I want to be up here. There we go. And would you look at that? Transportation. Oh. Bridge crafting, more like it, but you get the idea. We were able to come up here. Okay. Return to me, my friends. I figured I probably couldn't get over there. Ting a ling a ling. Tong a long a loo. Up to the big windmill we go. heavy enough. Which tells me I need to find a friend over here with a big rock on his head. Or, better yet, just get myself to a higher elevation. To then kickstart this thing. Really? 
I had the right idea, but apparently didn't execute properly. think I can get any higher than here. Whee! Clunk. And now the wind moves. Are we ascending? I think so. I want to get even higher up. Never mind. I don't need Thank you, giant building, for the lift. I appreciate it. Now, my question is what color are we going to unlock? My guess is probably blue, but it could be realistically any color. Hey, look, it's more hands. Which again indicates color. What do we have? What do we got? Green? No, it is blue. No, it's green. Bluish green. I'm assuming the answer is going to be green. But it looks blue ish. At least on the hands. Green. The color has been brought back. Ooh. Oh, now yeah, we're going this way. Whee. Again, the silence is deafening. There's nothing else quite eerie. Ooh. Oh, I can't jump. I was not permitted to press the jump button. I'm assuming we're just going to land in the hub. Not quite in, but very close. <laughs> oh, let me see. So I'm probably going to need to. Oop. Oh, we now have actual like leaves on the trees. That would make sense. So I had four. Where is that going to go? Oh, I had five. I guess, yeah, I did have five. Anyways, I'm assuming I'm making a hand there for me to go and cradle myself into again. Anyways, that is going to go ahead and do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. If you want to see more of this type of content, I should hopefully be uploading more regularly here soon. Um, and if you do want to keep up to date on the content that I am uploading, make sure to go ahead and drop a follow here on Tallboy Jacob, or not a follow, subscribe. I've been on Twitch for too long. Subscription button is down below. Hope you all have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever the case may be for you. Until next time, remember to stand tall. Reach upwards.